Sänger Valery Semischkur aus Estland geboren am 10.04.1975. Auf der Krim brachte er gestern beim offiziellen Wiegen 86,3 Kilogramm. Zehn Kämpfe bestritt Valery Semischkur als Profi, neunmal verließ er den Ring als Sieger, fünfmal durch K.O. In der Roten Ecke aus Estland, Valery Semischkur. In der Blauen Ecke, Thorsten May, geboren am 10.09.1969, brachte er gestern 85 Kilogramm. 22 Kämpfe bestritt der ehemalige Amateurweltmeister und Olympiasieger als Profi. 20 Mal verließ er den Ring als Sieger, 11 Mal durch K.O. In der Blauen Ecke aus Deutschland, Thorsten May. Er kann dem leicht Schwergewicht über Akronten begleitet von Ringrichter Raffaele Agiolas aus Italien. Die Punktrichter sind Herbert Urich, Manfred Küchler und Kurt Ströer aus Deutschland. All right, now getting ready for the scheduled eight rounder. Referee calling both fighters to the center of the ring for their instructions. Torsten Mai, still looking as young as he did, though, still has that youthful space. Same as he looked back in the Olympics, and for that matter, in September of 93 when he turned pro. Valerie, and we get a, re a correction on the pronunciation. Valerie Semischker, or Semischker. We'll call him Valerie. Waiting the start of the bell here. Distance shouldn't be a problem for Torsten Mai. He's been the eight round distance eight times or more. Notice, of course, the southpaw style of Mai. We'll get an idea right away just how much uh, Valerie Simischker has had the southpaw sparring getting ready for Torsten Mai. I'm sure this is not a fight that he took lightly, so the preparation probably was extensive, but we'll find out right now if he throws the traditional right-hand lead. Very cat and mouse right now. Finally left hand, let's go by my very quiet crowd here. Really wondering right now just how much Torsten Mai has left or wants to have left. Last fight for Mai was November of last year, 12-round decision. He wins the European Cruiserweight title against Alexei Elin. Prior to that, he avenged that loss to Adolfo Washington with a technical win, nine rounds. Fighters butting heads, cut opening up on Washington, decision going to Mai. And, of course, it was Washington that beat Mai for the then vacant Cruiserweight title back in August of 96, so it was that long ago. Immediately following that fight, won two fights, but then got knocked out by Stefan Angern back in December of 97. Took almost a year off, the longest layoff of the pro career of Torsten Mai. And here we find him, halfway gone. In the first round of the Schedule 8 rounder against Valerie Samishker, trying to use him as a uh, trial horse, so to speak, for his career. But... Only eight professional fights, excuse me, nine. He's eight no with one draw in his arsenal. Under a minute to go now in the first. No fighter really letting much go here, but a few punches that have landed have all been from the gloves of Torsten Mai. Referee continues to let them fight on the inside. Very, very rare and very strange for Germany. Mai looking to establish that jab. Originally trained by Manfred Volka. Nowhere to be seen tonight. In the corner of the former Olympian, although Danny Mancini, as we mentioned, is in there, working cuts. Referee finally gets tired of all this infighting. Coming near the end of the round right now. Big feeling out round, but certainly in favor of the former Olympian. Hola.
Das war Ihr Beifall für die erste Runde. Ein Mai kommt. Well, we're back over in the corner right now with Torsten Mai. As we said, there's Denny Mancini. Action from the first. Nothing in this round that would make you think that Sanishka is totally outclassed at this point. They're out experienced. Saw the uh, body shot there by Mai. Sanishka not able to take advantage of it, not able to come back. Round number two, scheduled eight rounder. Torsten Mai, former Olympian, 1992 gold medalist. He's in the blue shorts. Valerie Samishker, Narva Estonia where he hails from. First time fighting out of Estonia or Russia. He's in the red shorts with the blue stripe. Not much action in the first round. The uh, vastly inexperienced Samishka, the 8-0 record, seeming to hold his own with Mai. Mai starting to open up a little bit now. Body attack has been what was working so well for him in the first round, seeming to pick that up a little bit more right now. Mishka continues to throw from the outside, gets warning from butting heads. Nice left hand lead by Rudy Mai. Excuse me, Torsten Mai. Combination shots starting to land for Mai, showing some of that hand speed. Not a big puncher, though, only 11 knockouts. In his total career, last time he stopped somebody was Matthew Charleston. That was back in October of 97, stopping Charleston in five rounds. Charleston, nothing more than a blown up light heavyweight at that. So not necessarily an impressive stoppage. Prior to that, you'd have to go way back to April of 96 when he stopped Andrew Maynard in 10 rounds. Biggest win of Mai's career probably would have to be a win over Ralph Rocca Johnny. And only his sixth pro fight. I mean, a 10 round decision for the German cruiserweight title. And that was back in May of 94. So no longer the young rookie. 22 pro fights. Trying to work his way back into one more shot at the cruiserweight championship of the world. As we're under a minute here to go in the second. Much faster paced round. Then the first, ever your punch volume being thrown. Coming to you tonight from Europa Hall in Karlsruhe, Germany. I'm Marty Tokyo Rosenthal, the Cedric Christian Sports Network. Of course, coming up, our world title fight, Sven Aki and Tucker Pudwell. Right now, though, we're looking at cruiserweights. Rafael Adiles continues to let the fighters fight inside, break out themselves. Oh! Short left. Drops the mister here near the end of the second. Not much time left in the round. Gets his mandatory eight count. He should be saved by the bell. Didn't look like much of a shot that dropped Sanishka, but it was punctuated with a nice strong left hand lead. And I'm sure we'll see in our replay exactly what the story was here. Oh, it was a left uppercut almost right on the heart. See if we can pick it up here from a different angle. Yeah, it was a left right into the midsection. And then as he was dropping down to one knee, Rudy Mai dropped in another left uppercut that seems to land a little bit more close to the head. But it was left uppercut right to the midsection. It was the body attack that had been working so well for Mai. One more take. Beautiful left uppercut. three.
Well, as we start round three of the scheduled eight round, as Samishka down at the end of the second from a left uppercut to the body from Rudy Mai. Very uncharacteristic shot to drop somebody with. Certainly uncharacteristic, of course, to Mai, but the body work and body attack has worked very well for him thus far in the fight. Called a slip. Oh, no, referees calling this a knockdown. We couldn't, from our vantage point, we couldn't pick up the shot. Certainly looked like a slip, but Samishka down on the floor for the second time in the fight. Crowd getting behind Torsten Mai right now. Oh, that was a beautiful left right combination, and down for the third time in the fight is Valerie Samishka. And we talked about the lack of experience. Only nine professional fights coming into this on a pro career that only started in August of 98. Six years more pro experience. And Torsten Mai really starting to open up. Showing somewhat of a killer instinct that it, he had lacked previously in his career. And just as we say that right now, he's allowing Samishka back into the fight. Mishka already down twice here in the third round. Scheduled for eight. It's going to take a lot for Samishka to be able to last that long. I try to, oh, work that body again. It's a body attack that's just killing Samishka. My holding behind the head, he's about to get a warning. Mishka trying to fight back right now. Throwing very wide shots, though. Arm-weary punches. Reading very heavily from the mouth as well. Very, very difficult fight for putting Mishka in right now. Fighting a southpaw. First time that he's been out of Estonia and Russia. And a man that's got... 15 more fights and down for the third time in this round fourth time in the fight you would think this referee might have seen enough already four knockdowns in two rounds and we've still got 17 seconds to go oh that's got to be it that's it down four times in round three one time near the end of the second, it was the body attack that set things up for Torsten Mai. He's got a four-fight win streak going now since that knockout back in 97 to Stefan Anghern. This certainly, though, isn't the type of fight that would tell you that he's ready for a shot at the Cruiserweight Championship of the World, but it will tell you that he's back on track. It's a nice tune-up fight. Bad matchup if you're Valerie Samishka's manager. But sometimes you want to take that shot in that big giant step. It's totally outclassed. We'll take a look now from round three. Left uppercut right on the button. You saw Wilfred Sauerland, promoter's mouth wide open when he saw it from back there. But down three times in the third. One time in the second. Valerie Samishka totally outclassed here tonight. Type of fights that in certain sanctioning bodies would not allow a professional of 22 fights and of the notoriety and pedigree of Torsten Mai to even fight a Valerie Samishka. Left uppercut, though, new punch in the arsenal of Torsten Mai. And incredibly effective here tonight against Samishka, who could not take it to the body. Samishka will drop down now to 8-1-1. While Torsten Mai will improve to 21 and 2. That's his 12th stoppage, improving his knockout ratio, which always hovers near that 500 percentage mark. And here, meine Damen und Herren, liebe Boxsportfreunde, in Karlsruhe, das Urteil des Kampfgerichts. Sieger durch technischen K.O. nach 2 Minuten und 50. In der dritten Runde aus Deutschland, in der blauen Ecke, Torsten Mai. All right, as they told you, Torsten Mai, he'll improve the 21 and 2, 12th knockout. Valerie Samishka will drop down to 8, 1 and 1. And the uh, crowd 
very happy right now. Always the both my brothers, Rudy and Thorsten, big favorites in Germany ever since winning the medals at the Barcelona Olympics back in 92. Thorsten, of course, at 178 pounds at those Olympics. One more look here at action from the third. And be sure to stay with us, of course, coming up our world title fight, Ben Atke and Tucker Hudwell. But also coming up, we're going to have an eight-round fight, super middleweight division with fighting Nordin Ben Salah.